Hi there, and thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a peacock feather using the string pull technique. On top of my titanium white base coat that I've already laid down, I'm carefully laying down this piece of string that I've soaked in um, thalo green and light blue paint. All of these colors are artist loft paints and I've mixed them one part paint to one and a half parts float roll. So the paints are on the thicker side. I'm just gently pulling the string along. And I'm just going to suck up some of this white that's accumulating here because if I keep going with it, it's very possibly going to go over the string and kind of ruin the feather. So, okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so this has had some time to dry and now I'm painting on some of some white before I create the rest of the feather. I debated a lot about whether to just pour my fluid paint out of the bottles to create this part of the feather, which you could definitely do, but I, I ended up deciding to you know paint this part on with a paintbrush. This white paint is dried, so now I'm painting on the various colors, starting with crimson. Unless I mention otherwise, all the paints I'm about to use are artist love paints straight out of the tube, so they aren't mixed with anything. This is Vermilion. This is Orange. This is Brilliant Yellow.
To create the center, I'm using aqua green. This is phthalo blue. Okay, so this is looking a bit too much like a heart. <laughs> so I just want to fix that a bit. I think I'm going to add some lime green just for a, you know, a bit of extra interest here. And this is lime green by Folk Art. And I actually mixed this with some Floetrol. I mixed it one part paint to one part Floetrol. Now I just want to fix some of these little gaps. Okay, I think we're done. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to see more fluid acrylic art tutorials, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I look forward to seeing you again next time.